Jamie Singleton. And I'm James Montemagno. Hey, James. We've learned a lot about advanced C-sharp features, but it's always good to get back to the basics. How about we talk a little bit about properties in C-sharp? Yeah, absolutely, Jamie. I'm super glad that we're talking about this today because it's one of my favorite features in C-sharp because properties in C-sharp are awesome. So let's talk about them. Uh, now, if you come from other programming languages and you're looking to create a class, so let's say we have a pizza here, you might have properties such as the name of the pizza, the cost of the pizza, the if it's gluten-free or not, if it's on sale, and you want to access those variables behind the scenes, and you want other people to be able to get and set them. So sort of in older you know, ways of doing it, you would create a method called get name and set name. So when you create your pizza, you'd have to say set name, set whatever, set whatever, and then you could run it and you can get the name back. But Jamie, that's a lot of code. Look at all that code, too much code. C Sharp makes it super simple with C Sharp properties. They enable you to automatically create getters and setters with the get and set keywords. So this is now exactly the same logic as before, but it enables us to simply access that property with the name. So pizza.name equals Hawaiian, pizza.name, that's how I get it back. So you no longer have to have all these methods and creating all these code there. So that's really, really nice. Yeah, that's really awesome, James. But are you able to set a default for that name property? Yeah, good question. So here, for example, let's say our pizza wants to default to something. Right now, we can see that it's just an empty string. So what's really cool about C Sharp is you can do that. You just set it to whatever you want the default to be. So let's say the default is Italian for every single pizza order that we're putting in, because that makes sense, I'm Italian. So now it says I ordered an Italian pizza. But that is just the default, like you said, so you can override it. So when I create this pizza, Italian will be set, and then here, name will be set to Hawaiian, and now we've ordered our Hawaiian pizza again, which is really nice. Wow, I really like that get set syntax. But what if I wanted to access the variable behind it? Yeah, that's also something that's really powerful with C-sharp properties. So here, automatically, the backing field, if you will, that sort of that lowercase name was created for us. But with C-sharp properties, we still have access to those. We can just create one ourselves. So for example, here, we have this get set syntax. And you can use these lambdas, or you can have curly braces, whatever you want. And whenever you set something, a value will be assigned. So it's a kind of automatically set for you, like inside of there, which means you can run logic on there. So you could say, is it null? Is it too long? Is it a valid pizza? You can run logic in there. So for example, I could say to upper, for example, which will then set my name. And when I get my name, it'll come back. So now we're really getting Hawaiian pizza. So there we go. Wow, so excited for pizza. Yes. Uh, it looks like everything is public. Is it possible to make private properties? Yeah, because if we go back to our first example, those were methods and you could you know, make those private and internal, whatever you want to do. You can do the same with properties, which is really rad. So if I go over here, here is another property that I created. And I could, of course, make the entire thing private or I could just make just the set private. So this is really neat. So here in the constructor, I might like call my database or do something and say, oh, this is on sale. But when I'm placing the order, the user doesn't get to do it. So example here, if they tried to, I would actually get a squiggle here and says, oh, I can't access on sale because it's private. You just use it just like you normally would. And sure enough, that pizza is totally on sale. And there you have it. You're using awesome C-sharp properties. And it's just very elegant. I love it, Jamie. Delicious. Absolutely. Well, I'll, of course, put a link into the show notes for this feature and all the other videos. Jamie, thanks for uh, exploring properties with me. I really appreciate it. Anytime. Anytime.